There will be limited access to the Jefferson City Animal Shelter due to staffing issues today through Friday of this week. ABC 17 Chanel Porter joins us live from outside the shelter now. Chanel, the shelter says this will allow the limited staff to focus on their core tasks and care for the animals. Lucas, because of the staffing issues, these doors to the shelter are closed to the public this week. And it suspended all owner releases and intakes into the shelter until further notice. Now, because the shelter is part of the police department, I sat down with Lieutenant David Williams to learn more. We're still taking animals. We're still doing all the things that we do, what the community expects us to do. The only difference is we're asking that it be done by appointment only. Lieutenant David Williams said the shelter is looking for people to help out. It's short three animal control officers and has an interim animal control manager. We have always been taking applications. As a matter of fact, Today, we have been doing interviews to try to fill those empty positions at the shelter. Since the announcement was made on the limited access to the shelter this week, people have raised questions on how to apply or if they can become volunteers. But William said the process may not be as easy as some think. Like most places, we're having difficulty in finding good quality people. It's not a situation where we can just take anyone. There's an application process. There's a, a actual background investigation along with interviews. There has to be a selection. It's not just something we can say, congratulations, you're an uh, animal control officer. A release sent says the closure is due to staffing shortages and COVID-19. I asked Williams if someone in the shelter tested positive for COVID prompting the closure. But he said as a department, they don't discuss any of the employees' medical information. Although walk-ins are not available this week, Williams said people can still contact the department. Someone actually sees an animal in distress, they can still call. The calls are still routed through the police department. Someone is assigned to that. The shelter is also looking for volunteers, but Williams says that process is being slowed down because the city is struggling to find available officers to be able to train these volunteers. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. If you want to schedule a viewing of a pet, you can still contact the shelter at the number on your screen.